we were on this page. So now we're going to move to the next one, the jelly bean game. You can't work with the partner, but what you can do is call or text someone from your class or sit there and try to work on it yourself. What you're going to do is read the sentences about the jelly beans. You're going to read the clues and fill in the blanks. The red jelly beans are in the empty space. You're trying to find the red space. Okay, read the clues and fill in the blanks. The blue jelly beans are behind the green jelly beans. The purple jelly beans are in front of the orange jelly beans. The blue jelly beans are in front of the yellow jelly beans. The white jelly beans are next to the purple jelly beans. The orange jelly beans are between the yellow jelly beans and the brown jelly beans. The white jelly beans are in front of the brown jelly beans. The pink jelly beans are in front of the purple jelly beans. Where are the red jelly beans? Jelly beans are little uh, beans made out of flavored gel, gel, and they're very delicious. Go through this uh, very slowly. Write the color in the box. Write the color in the box. So the blue jelly beans are behind the green jelly beans. Once again, when you look at this and you don't remember your prepositions of place, look to page 21 to help you. All right, you're searching for the things in the office. Take turns asking where they are and use a word box for help. Where is the computer? It's on the desk. Now let's look at our words. Okay, files. Files. Files are bits of cardboard uh, creating a little pocket where you put your papers. Picture, picture. A picture is a uh, person, place, or thing that is in a picture to where you can look at it. Most people have pictures of their family on their desk. Trash can, trash can. A trash can is where you throw away things you don't want anymore. Pens, pens. Bookcase. Bookcase. A bookcase is where you have your books. Notepad. Notepad. This is where you write notes, usually when you're studying something. Papers. Papers. These are things that you print or you write on that have information on them. Plant. Plant. This is a thing that is growing. Books. Books. These are things that are uh, that you read. They're on your shelf. Drawer. Drawer. That's something you pull out and inside of the drawer you put your stuff. Phone. Phone. Phone is short for telephone. Uh, you can have a desk phone, which is what's on this desk, or you can have uh, a cell phone, which Koreans call a hand phone. Pen holder, pen holder. Pen holder is a cup with your pens in them. Desk, desk. It's something where you usually have papers and probably a computer on it. Drawer, drawer. Uh, we already did that. Uh, we already did trash can, pen holder, and bookcase. Okay. All right, now you're going to make sentences with this. Listen and repeat. Where is the computer? It is on the desk. Now we're going to make nine more sentences. Where are the files? Where are the files? Remember, you can look on page 21 to remember your prepositions in place. The files are in the drawer. The files are in the drawer. Where is the picture? Where is the picture? It is behind the phone. 
It is behind the phone. Where is the trash can? Where is the trash can? It's under the desk. It's under the desk. Where are the pens? Where are the pens? The pens are in the pen holder. The pens are in the pen holder. Where is the bookcase? Where is the bookcase? The bookcase is behind the desk. The bookcase is behind the desk. Where is the notepad? Where is the notepad? The notepad is on the desk. The notepad is on the desk. Or you can say the notepad uh, is above the drawer. The notebook is above the drawer. One more time, the notepad is above the drawer. Where are the papers? Where are the papers? The papers are in the trash can. The papers are in the trash can. Where is the plant? Where is the plant? The plant is behind the pen holder. The plant is behind the pen holder. Where are the books? Where are the books? The books are behind the bookcase. The books are behind the bookcase. My kitchen, page 24. Plant. Plant. Frying pan. Frying pan. Pot. Pot. A pot is deeper and usually bigger than a frying pan. Okay, so you're going to write a sentence about where something is. You're going to write four sentences. First, you are going to take the things. There's a cup, a frying pan, a plant, a pot, a microwave, plates, forks, and your uh, coffee maker. You're going to draw. If you're going to sell your book back, you can put a piece of paper on top of this and draw on top, okay? And you're going to draw where you've put these things, where they are located, okay? Then you're going to write four sentences about where it's located, okay? For my drawing, for my drawing, I have decided that the microwave is next to the oven. The microwave is next to the oven. So I'm going to put that under the, under the cabinets next to the oven. Okay. The pot is on the stove. The pot is on the stove. The forks are in the drawer. The forks are in the drawer. The coffee maker is next to the sink. The coffee maker is next to the sink. So you're going to make various sentences. Here's your form once again. The blank is next to, on top of, near, whatever. The, and then the other object. Okay, there are two objects. Your object and the other object where this is near to or under or over or something like that. Okay? Put me on pause and write your four sentences. Then practice repeating them. Once again, this is the format for your four sentences. Actually, is can be R for your forks because there's more than one of them and the same with your cups. Where are the forks? Where are the cups? Okay. Grammar review. We're going to go to page 27. Grammar review is very important because this is how you're going to study for your test. So go to page 27. We're going to look at our grammar review. Okay. Correct the mistakes. There is plants next to the windows. Oh, that's not good. Plants. Plants is more than one of them, so there are plants. Okay. There is a stove on the kitchen. <laughs> Your stove isn't on the kitchen. It's in the kitchen. There's a stove in the kitchen. 
Are there an alarm clock next to the bed? An alarm clock means there's one of them. Na note an, A-N. A-N is used when you're talking about something that has a, a vowel at the front, like an A. So an alarm. Okay. So uh, there is only one alarm clock, so it should be is there an alarm clock next to the bed? Is there next to the sink a refrigerator? Uh, no, the refrigerator, a refrigerator is now in the wrong place. It needs to move. There should be, is there a refrigerator next to the sink? There are two bedrooms in the apartment. Now, there's two, so bedrooms should have an S. There are two bedrooms in the apartment. Go ahead and correct your sentences. If you're selling the book back, place a piece of paper on top and just correct them. Okay, now, using page 21, do this. Write the correct preposition under each picture. Use page 21 to help you. Okay, put, put me on pause, use page 21 and fill them in. Okay, number one, in. In. Number two, on. On. Number three, under. Under. Number four, next to. Next to. Number five, behind. Behind. Number six, in front of, in front of. Number seven, between, between. Number three, above, above. Okay, part C. Look at the picture and write the answer. Are there cupboards above the sink? Remember, yes, there is, yes, there are. Those are your answers. Yes, there are. Is there a plant on the refrigerator? Yes, there is. Are there pictures on the wall? No, there aren't. Is there a microwave in the kitchen? No, there isn't. Is there a trash can next to the refrigerator? Yes, there is. Is there a rug in front of the sink? Yes, there is. Are there drawers next to the stove? Yes, there are. There are your answers to Part C. Use this section, Grammar Review, to help you study for the exam. Okay, these are great practice, but they're not on the test. These are your optional activities. We're going to do those to do some review. Listen to the description of the house. Put a check under, un, uh, under uh, O for correct descriptions and under X for incorrect ones. Okay. Listen to the descriptions of the house. Okay. Okay, for uh, number one, we are going to uh, to look at uh, what is in the description. Okay. There are three chairs in the kitchen. There are three chairs in the kitchen. That's number one. Zero is it's that's correct, and X means it's not correct. Okay, put a put a check mark in the correct place. There is a mirror above the dresser. There is a mirror above the dresser. Number three. There are magazines on the coffee table. 
Number three, there are magazines on the coffee table. Number four, there is a refrigerator next to the stove. Number four, there is a refrigerator next to the stove. Five, there is a shower in the bathroom. Five, there is a shower in the bathroom. Six, there is an armchair in the living room. Six, there is an armchair in the living room. Okay, let's take a look at this. There are three chairs in the kitchen. No, that's not true. There are four chairs in the kitchen. There is a mirror above the dresser. It's true. There is a mirror above the dresser. There are magazines on the coffee table. That is true. There are magazines on the coffee table. Four, there's a refrigerator next to the stove. Nope, that's not true. The refrigerator is far away from the stove, which is a good place to put it. Your refrigerator should not be near your stove. There is a shower in the bathroom. Yes, there, well, there is a, there is a tub in the bathroom, there, but there is a shower head in there, so you can say yes for that one if you want to. There is an armchair in the living room. Nope, no armchairs. The only thing in there is a sofa. S and Z sounds, page 25. Sometimes an S sound sounds like the S in snake. The end of a word, like DS, ES, and GS, they sound like Z, okay? The end of a word, S, E, S, sounds like is, like biz, which is short for business. Okay, cupboards. Cupboards. Well, all right, let's do our examples. Lamps. Lamps. Armchairs. Armchairs. Faces. Faces. Put a check in the column matching the correct pronunciation. Cupboards. Cupboards. Sounds kind of like a Z, okay? Dishes. Dishes. That sounds like the I-Z. Clocks, clocks, sounds like an S, that's a first column. Plants, plants, sounds like an S. Toothbrushes, toothbrushes, sounds like the I-Z. Rugs, rugs, sounds like a Z. Boxes, boxes, sounds like an I-Z. Tables, tables. A table sounds like a Z. Dream home. A dream home is a place you would like to live in someday. This is on page 26. We're going to do a little bit of writing now, okay? A town home is a home attached to other homes. It's like an apartment, but it goes straight up and down, so there may be stairs for you to get higher. It's like owning an apartment. Read about Doug's dream home. Then we're going to write about your dream home or apartment. My dream home is a townhouse. There are six rooms in the house. There are two bedrooms, a living room, a kitchen, and two bathrooms. There is a king-size bed in one bedroom. There are also big windows in the living room. Also, there's a grand piano in the living room. There are hot tubs in the bathrooms. Okay, this is his dream home, which is a townhouse. One more time. My dream home is a townhouse. There are six rooms in the house. There are two bedrooms, a living room, a kitchen, and two bathrooms. There is a king-size bed in one bedroom. There are big windows in the living room. Also, there is a grand piano in the living room. There are hot tubs in the bathrooms. Okay, so what is your dream home? Do you want a beautiful apartment in, in uh, uh, the Marine City, would you like a big house, maybe a little house, maybe a town home? Let's talk about your dream home. So what is your type of dream home? Do you want a house, a townhouse, or an apartment? How many rooms are there? In my apartment, I have two bedrooms. Actually, at this point, I have one bedroom with a living room. I have a kitchen, 
and a little dining area, and I have a bathroom. Okay, uh, so how many rooms? In my case, there's four. And the rooms are the kitchen, the bedroom, the living room, which is also my office, and my bathroom. So what is there in each room? Well, for me, uh, I've got a, uh, in my office, I have a desk, I have two computers and two screens, I have a reclining chair, and I have several bookshelves. In my kitchen, I have a stove, um, a refrigerator, and some shelves, and uh, I, I have a sink and, a, and several windows. In my bathroom, there is a toilet and a shower, and I also have my washing machine in there. In my bedroom, I have a queen-size bed, and I have a lot of shelves. That's me. Write down your dream home. Your dream home. So what we're going to do after this, we're going to, we're going to go over our, our next unit, which is unit four. In the meantime, what I want you to do is not, don't worry about your optional activities. What I want you to do is study um, your grammar review on page 27, because this is practice for your test. Be sure you understand everything there. For your kitchen, you need to understand all the, vo the vocabulary words. Cups, plant, coffee maker, microwave, forks, frying pan, pots, and plates. You need to be able to make a sentence about that. There is a toilet in the bathroom. Or the toilet is in the bathroom. So you have to be able to make a sentence about it. You also have to talk about where something is in location to something else. The files are in the drawer. The picture is in front of the phone. Okay, where is the computer? It's on the test. So, sorry, on the desk. On the desk. Okay. Where are the papers? They are in the trash can. Where are the pens? They are in the pen holder. You have to talk about where things are in the room. A good practice is to go through your house and think of where everything is in your house. Do you have a plant? Do you have a computer? Where are these things in your apartment? Look around and talk about where they are located. For the uh, red jelly beans, did you figure it out? Where are the red jelly beans? Where are the red jelly beans? Well, let's take a look. The um, blue jelly beans are behind the green ones. The yellow ones are behind the blue ones. The pink ones are next to the green ones and in front of the purple ones. The purple ones are next to the blue ones, so that those are in the middle. The orange ones are next to the yellow ones on, on the top row. The brown ones are next to the orange ones. The white ones are next to the purple ones. Once again, the pink ones are under the purple ones. So the only empty spot is the bottom right. That's where the red beans are. I hope you figured it out. It's a very fun little self-practice to do. Okay. Also, go through here. Be sure you can say that something is or isn't in a room. Is there a refrigerator in the kitchen? Yes, there is. There's a refrigerator in my kitchen. Yes. Are there any windows in the bathroom? Yes, I have. I have a window in my bathroom. But in this book that says, are there any windows in the bathroom? No, there aren't. Be able to make all of these sentences. Sentences like these will be on your speaking test, on your writing test. Go through the entire chapter again. Be sure you understand all the vocabulary and that you're able to make all of the sentences. 
Thank you very much for learning with me today. I'm Professor Laura. Have a wonderful day.